As a conclusion of clause 9.2, we can say that audit findings lead to great improvement in the effectiveness and efficiency of the system. In order to confirm that the service management system conforms to the ISO 20000-1 2018 standard and the organization's standards, internal audits must be conducted at plan intervals. A formal internal audit program needs to be established which defines the methods used, scope and frequency as well as assigning responsibility to objectives and impartial auditors. The results of the internal audits are used to make corrections and improvements to the service management system. Friends, let me give you some tips to help get the most from your internal audits now. The tip one is make sure the authority of the audit team is established and the auditors are trained and independent of the areas they are to audit. This will increase the cooperation from auditees. Tip number two, decide which areas of the organization will be audited and the frequency of the audits. Tip three is develop an audit plan with needed audit resources, checklists, etc. and determine the purpose of the audit. Tip four is conduct an opening meeting with the auditee. Now, some of the tips you must know to implement during an audit. The tip one is be professional at all times and avoid being judgmental. Tip two, follow all required procedures like safety procedures, clean room procedures, etc. Tip three, Explain the purpose of the audit to the auditees and answer questions or discuss compliances problems brought to your attention by auditees. Tip 4 is be flexible and encourage honesty with the auditees. Friends, let me give you some tips to be implemented after the audit. Tip 1 is hold an auditor's meeting to discuss the closing meeting content. Tip 2 is Point out what was done well and then address the non conformance and ensure the auditees understand the non conformance and what part of the standard is not met. Tip 3 is issue the audit report in a timely manner. Tip 4 be available and willing to help the auditees. Ask for the feedback on how you and your audit team were perceived and adjust your approach if necessary. So friends, this was the explanation of subclause 9.2 internal audit and now coming to the mandatory documents requirements under the subclause 9.2. The subclause 9.2.2 says that the organization shall retain documented information as evidence of the implementation of the audit program or programs and the audit results. Now coming to the non-conformity, please see a sample auditor finding action report on screen for having an idea about writing down conformities under this clause. Please go through this and try to understand the various components of this non-conformance report at your own. So friends, now we have reached at the end of the session. I hope that you have an idea about subclause 9.2 internal audit of ISO IEC 27-1-2018 Information Technology Service Management Standard. I sincerely thank you all for your interest and attention. Thanks and best wishes.